Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer 1 and Dine, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We start off with a battle. Of Crass Hopper. These guys aren't that bad though. That wing snap will cause you to go berserk, which just forces you to do nothing but attack, but with like 50% greater attack power. So these guys are just basically hosing themselves. But in order to continue on to Narsh, you have to go through the Phantom Forest in the south, as Kyan said in the last part. Okay. And that is on the way here. And you can actually go to Doma Castle, but it's occupied by the Imperial Army, so you won't get very far in it. And this is actually a short area, but has some of the most beautiful background graphics in the game. Yep. These ghosts are super annoying because they love to use magic on you. Yes, but yes, but I'm pretty sure Finn and Beck, they're not afraid of no ghosts. But -na 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 -na. Na -na 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 -na. I love that recovery spring. It's one yeah. of my favorite rooms in the whole game. Uh the recovery springs, they remind me of the hot springs in Nimbus Land in Mario RPG. A lot faster though, you just have to click on them rather than soaking them for a bit. Oh. Now this place is actually a little bit of a maze. If you go the wrong way, you'll... I don't know if it kicks you out or you start back at the beginning. Uh, we can play the Forest of Illusion music here and it would fit. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't know if it would be that much fitting. I mean... <laughs> but then again, well, Super Mario World was released three years before this game was. Uh, spamming that fire. I'm spamming my fire! Yeah, we, just, we just finished recording a video where we threw out a lot of memes. Yeah, because in case you're wondering, we were we were recently rec uh, doing commentary for Paris's uh, Symphony of the Night L LJ, or Let's Journey, and <laughs> and some of those parts were quite long. It's like, I had really nothing to say about it because I've never played the game or never seen a video of it. Yeah, the, the game itself was really good, but on your first time, you're going to get lost a bit. Well, kind of like on this end. Goodbye, Beck. Yeah, it's this part of the game where you want to stop attacking and start re relying more heavily on the character's individual skills. Because a single... Oh, a single pummel and a single oh, level 1 sword tech from Kyan do a lot more damage than regular attacks. Yeah, I... Yeah, I have. Yeah, I somehow haven't even bothered with the sword techs that much. I don't really get the point of them. They do, yeah, a, lot, I, they do a lot more damage. Oh, okay, so are they more stronger than his physical attack? Oh yeah. Now, the first one will it'll hit an enemy for like three times his normal attack damage. Even though it'll attack a random enemy, but at this point in the game, it'll one shot any most any regular enemy it hits. And there's a train in the background. Yes, and we're about to board the train. All aboard! Maybe survivors inside. Let's take a look. Unfortunately, the text box blocks up the best part of the background at the top of the screen. Of course I'm going to worry. That's why I'm telling you not to get on here. Oh, well, why didn't you say so in the first place? That haunting train whistle. <laughs> we don't get off now. Well, you can't. Now well, it's moving. Oh, lucky, these are some of the rarer enemies in the game, in, in this area. And these enemies are called Still Going? Yep. Look at it, what kind of name is Still Going? Yeah, they're undead, and they're still going. Oh, I thought it was named after because the train was still going. Nope, most of the enemies in here are undead. I mean, so basically they're zombies. Yep, because if you try to leave through the door you came in, it basically reveals this is the Phantom Train. So these guys are just like the zombies in Final Fantasy IV. Uh, not quite. They're more easily taken down. As in Final Fantasy IV in the first quarter of the game, 
You have to try and leave the way you came in, and then you can leave out to the right. Uh, no, I'll finish that explanation after this dialogue. So this is the train that takes people to the other side. Even though we're not quite dead yet. Let's come out here, reach the rear car. And those those ghosts will do one of... Uh, one of two things, at least. You can invite them along to join your party, and I recommend you do so, if you don't, especially if you don't have Shadow. Or, or they'll attack you. Yeah, well, somehow I... Yeah, I, I accidentally passed up Shadow when I was in the Imperial camp. No, he, he's not in the Imperial camp. He was back at the house with the crazy old guy. Well, well at least well, if I passed him up, there's no way to get him back. Well, not now. You can recruit him later, but you have to pay him like 3,000 gil. And he, he's optional anyway. Yeah. yeah, but don't you have to have at least 12 allies by the time you get to the end of the game? Yep. What happens if you have less than 12? Then you just won't have a full party. Ah. Uh, because you, you, can do the, you can do the final dungeon with a minimum of three. And there are only three required characters at that point in the game. Okay. Skyping with people at the same time as recording this. And that, that possess ability will instantly kill enemies that run into, but you will lose your ghost ghost pal. I actually recommend you do not uh, use it except for an enemy later on in the dungeon. But the one got as you as you as you recruit ghosts to help out, they'll be at different levels. Uh, getting the one back in the rear car is it's probably the best one you can get because it comes in at level 14. And of course you can get more than one. Okay, yeah, the, th the third type is, is a shop. And I think that's close to the same same stuff the guy at the at the house was selling, but I think he also sells sprint shoes. Uh, no, this shop does not have sprint shoes. Right. Because it's, it's close to the same inventory as the other guy, but the other guy has sprint shoes, this one doesn't. He, he was the soldier riding on a chocobo. Ah. And if you... If you back out once, you can sort your items by selecting a range. And shuriken is something only Shadow can use with his throw command. So apparently I waste, wasted a certain amount of money for that. Yep. But there there is one point in the game where Shadow is a required party member, albeit briefly. Oh, so so, I, so even though I passed him up once, I can I'll still get him eventually. Yep. Now you don't have to talk to all the ghosts in here either, and it's actually recommended that you don't, because as we just saw, one step away was another random encounter. The random encounter counter does not reset if you talk to a ghost that attacks you. In fact, you're only required to fight one ghost. All the rest you can just ignore. Three still going. I don't think I ever ran into this much in a single run. There's another type of enemy in here. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll either run into it or you won't. Okay. It's going for that at completionist run where you want to run into every enemy. Now the enemies outside the train are different than the ones inside. One of them is super annoying, even more so than ghosts. Now, this is a fairly straightforward dungeon. Has to be. Hmm. And another entered battle. I'll go down in two attacks. I like about the battle theme on this game is it is nice and fast paced for the quick battles on this because in general these are faster than ones on previous games. 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah. It, yeah, it does have a pretty up-tempo battle music. There's no way to connect those two cars. He's got to... Oh, I, yeah, I, I figured that's the one where we have to jump car to car. Yep, but to trigger that, you have to go inside the current car. These whispers are super annoying. Yeah, this battle actually kind of reminds me how, how you see in action movies where there's a fight on top of a train. Mm -hmm. But these guys are annoying because they love to spam that Demi spell, which cuts your HP in half regardless of how much you have. Is I wonder, wonder those who write those action movies. What were they thinking? Because don't you know, like standing on top of a train can be dangerous. Well, that's that's part of the point. Because the more tension there is, the more exciting it is. Ah. Of course, there, there's also the uh, constant way of winning the fight when a low tunnel is coming. One guy sees it and ducks in time. The other guy doesn't. So you ah. notice that ghost has blocked the doorway. You have to talk to him to get back out. There's actually only one door into and out of this car. It's quite the fire hazard. Okay, those still goings are a lot more common than I recall. Yeah, I guess so. But they're still the easiest enemies in here. I don't think they use anything other than the slip touch, which only does single digit HP with each drain. Not nothing you can do in here. Those yep. ghosts are just in the way. Yep, just gotta turn around then. Yeah, talk to that one. Excuse my burp. He said no escape. Now, this is the, o the this is the only one you're required to fight. You know the preemptive strike. He's down. Now this this is actually something that's uh, was half implemented, half not in the game. Because you may notice it's not at showing who's actually speaking, simply because there's so many options where y you have different characters in different situations. So they didn't really bother to write the dialogue for each individual character. Right. So you can just assume that whoever's on, whoever's in lead is the one talking. Softly crowded platform for ghosts. But they're nice enough to let you finish this battle before they continue to advance on you. Oh, Demi. More Demi. There's another version that likes to cut your HP in three qu by three quarters. And the annoying thing is, it d it's not really useful when you're able to learn it as a spell yourself. It is useful in other Final Fantasies, especially eight. Not so much on this one. Another victory, more experience. And for whatever reason, they drop softs. Okay. And time for some more action movie action. <laughs> action movie action, like jumping off the train. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna backtrack here, and those ghosts have completely stopped. Unfortunately, the structure is not so good. And you're back in control after you take that little spill. But those guys just do not give up. I think they just want to play tag, considering 
They didn't really e bother to climb up that ladder after you. Flip that switch. And we taunt them. Kind of. That was, that was a pretty lame taunt. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what would be a good Schwarzenegger line for that? At, uh, see you on the flip side. Catch you on the flip side. Is right. Uh, another one. End of the line. Surrender. Now you've been railroaded. See, coming up those cliffs is harder than the south. <laughs> Hazer, new enemy. Yeah, these guys are still spamming their demi. The thing about that a spell is kind of hard to tell who it's actually aimed at. Because it doesn't always go into the same position every time. Now there is a free healing point coming up, up in the next car, thankfully. You find you're in the dining car. If you sit in that chair, you get this little cutscene. <laughs> looks looks like he's hungry. Worried? Can't wait for on an empty stomach. <laughs> oh, come on, like. Cooked by ghosts. I, I love this line. Just gobble, snarf, snap. <laughs> and free healing. And you can sit in that chair anytime and get healed up again if you need it. And depending on who's on point, it'll change slightly. So it's one of the times when they were able to uh, make it unique for every character. And you actually have to go outside the car and go around if you want to get that chest. And a progress, actually. Alright. <laughs> Somehow I sat down again. Well, his metabolism is at, at fast. Fortunately, you don't have to order if you're not hungry. It's always just a couple snarf snap, no matter, <laughs> no matter who's in point. I actually wonder why it bothers showing that and status status ailments like poison cured. I don't think there are any enemies in here that can poison you. Might be some that petrify you, but I doubt it. Nope, those guys still still block your way. Have to go around. Oh, going back for thirds. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> Yeah, we fa we hate enough. So let's move on. Oh, missed the treasure chest. We're not going in the door. Yeah, what's what's the point? Maybe it has something useless. No, nope, if I remember correctly, it has a pair of earrings in it. The relic that does magic power. You just have to enter from the side. How are earrings any help? They're a relic that boosts magic power, including the strength of Saban's blitzes. Oh. Super okay. useful for him. And getting close to the end here. A couple of extra rooms with some treasure in it. Okay. Single Whisper. Hopefully, you can take him out before he casts Demi. This is the boss is coming up. Nice little save point. A much needed save point, I will will admit. And only one since the rear end of the car. Rear end of the train. Rear car of the train. <laughs> I mean, since the caboose. Yep. 
find me at the engine room. Now there is a uh, manual on how to stop it uh, on the wall, but you have to flip the first and third switch and then come outside and flip this last one. Now these bombs will only appear on the outer areas of the train. And Exploder, they will deal as much damage equal to however much they had left. So with only 160 HP or, or so. <laughs> so it detonates itself. Yep. And the final switch is on the smokestack in the very front. I'll press this. However, it's not so easy. It's alive! And it's time for one of the best battles in the game. You're outrunning the train while fighting it. <laughs> and and you can get it done in a hurry. Thanks to this one trick I learned courtesy of YouTube user Psychiomog. Yeah, but even better, one of Saban's blitzes, the suplex, works on the train. So he suplexes the train! That has made him one of the most badass characters in Final Fantasy can because of that. <laughs> okay. So Phoenix Down can revive allies, but can defeat enemies. <laughs> well, if they're undead. And he's decided to be nice about it, at least. He accepts his defeat. I don't know how he got back to the platform you left on. Did he circumnavigate the globe or something? And the funny thing is, you won't find railways anywhere else. Now, this is a very powerful scene just with the atmosphere. Well, you were the one who was so eager to get on, man. But made you change your mind. Oh yeah, I almost been taken to the afterlife. However, people are boarding. And two of them look kind of familiar from earlier. Now, if you have Shadow on there, he'll actually jump off the platform to go down after him. It's kind of humorous in this otherwise very heart-rending scene. Okay. You will be so happy. Don't forget me. There's not much you can do here, you can just have to wait it out. He won't say anything. No, he won't. And with that, that draws part 10 to a close. Yep, and until next time, this is Gold League Gamer 1 and Dine. Later, folks. Bye, guys.